Hi, my name is James Kemp. I said this is my contribution to read around the world. Today I'm going to be reading from Merston in Surrey in the UK. The gentleman mistook the looks of shock and awe as surprise and delight and continued enthusiastically. Firstly, designer labels and fashion have ruled our lives for far too long. The reintroduction of the tube top should be a, should be a clear signal that the industry can now manipulate Manipulators to wear whatever they feel is necessary for daily living. And furthermore, to charge whatever ludicrous prices they deem suitable. How many girls have come home from school well thought How many girls have come home from school crying because their best friend is the new designer label? It's a ploy, a well thought out ploy to separate us from our hard earned wage. If we instigate global nudity, then the war over who's cool and who's not, according to fashion, becomes obsolete. No one needs to buy skin. We're all born with it. It's waterproof, durable and available in a wide range of colours. No one wrote anything down. Everyone had enough trouble concentrating as the once renowned gentleman on stage quickly and carefully fed his career to the sharks. How many people hide their true self and figure behind many shades of fabric that hang in the millions of department stores around the world? Like the army that is mere camouflage. Fat people pretend to be thin. Females with a self-perception of less than adequate bosoms dress themselves up to appear a little more well-endowed than they actually are. Thin, ugly, small, repellent males are simply handed the ability to cover their true selves designer shoes, shirts, pants and so on, only to be later discovered by some poor unsuspecting female, or male, that he is less than he appears. The inhibitions that have clouded the minds of the general populace for so long will be stripped down to reveal the truth, and only the truth. What follows is a short list of the absolute advantages of global public nudity. Parents will no longer have to endure the hassle of teaching their children the delicate art of tying their shoelaces. There will be no shoelaces to tie. Breastfeeding will become a communally shared experience, much like asking for directions or helping an elderly lady across the busy street. There will always be a wide range of portable milk outlets available, especially in busy places like malls or Starbucks. Global public nudity holds a great deal of advantages for men also. No longer will a suffering male have to wait for a celibate fiancé to display the goods. Playboy will become a thing of the past, therefore cutting down on the clutter of magazines that shroud the bathrooms of many homes. The ever-present zipper problem will be abolished, as there will no longer be a vicious cutting device hanging around the groin of the male body. But the greatest advantage to males will be the decrease in time that taken for women to get ready for work, dates, dinner, a movie, etc, etc. There will be a sharp increase in the amount of emotional stress caused by elderly people exposing themselves in public places. The act of exposing oneself will no longer be an issue, as everyone will be totally stark naked. In conclusion, I realise that some of these points may initially appear as nothing more than barefaced cheek an insult to society, but I assure you, these points are logical and viable and would instantly solve many of the problems that plague the world as we know it today. So I propose that we strip away our inhibitions and bear the world to our true selves. He finished the flourish. There was no pause, applause, no standing ovation. The university allowed crickets to be present at the lecture they would have been the only sound heard. To be continued. If you'd like to sign up and join the Read Around the World experiment, just head over to www.planetkibi.com You can find the address in the video description. Anyway, thank you very much. That's been me. Reading you in the dark, almost, because this is all daylight. No, this is daylight. From Marston in Surrey.
I hope you enjoy the rest of the story.